Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plain Obsessed, and today we are going to take a look in on the Red Wiggler Only Bins. Now these started out as 500 cocoons that I got from Emily the Crazy Worm Lady back in 2019. And I've been starting to split them out so that I can get uh, a bigger population of the Red Wigglers. So let's look and see what they are doing. Looks like they are making some wonderful castings in here. Not sure what that is. Is that a seed? Not sure. So let's just flip through here. We haven't looked in here in a little while, so I don't know if we'll find a, a proper worm ball, but there's a very good population of worms in here. I'm actually thinking I could probably split this one again. Put, put it in the comments below. Do you think this population density is enough to split it again to increase the red wigglers? I imagine I can, but you know, is, is this density a benefit, you know, would it be a benefit to this size population to split it again? Lots of springtails, lots of cocoons. These guys are doing great. see. I'm not really seeing any food left here except for some peanut shells. Maybe a little bit of tomato. All right. Well, these guys are doing great. Um, the bedding, I would say, is is really getting close. I really hate to put, you know, it's a, the bin is getting full and I really hate to put too much more bedding in here and slow this down because I think we're probably a month or so from harvesting. So let me get them some food. All right. I am going to give them a little bit more than usual because I am going on vacation. This is in a closed bin. So the whatever critter I've got is not going to get in here. But let me go ahead and get them some coconut coir. Yeah, buffer that a little bit. It's not proper bedding, but I don't um, have any that's just for the red wigglers made up right now. Um, when I have the bins that are just one species, I have been giving them their own bin of pre-made uh, bedding. And since the bedding that I have was made with the um, mix worms, I don't really want to give it to these guys in case there was any cocoons in the, in the castings that I used. Let's go look at bin number two. Okay, this is the newer of the two bins that I uh, split off those red wigglers into. So this has got, you know, brand new bedding basically. But I haven't been looking in on these guys that often. Um, I don't know, because I was thinking about maybe taking a little bit more of the red wigglers from the previous bin we just looked in on and put them in here. But, you know, I'm, I'm looking in here and I'm seeing a pretty decent, you know, bunch of worms. I'm not sure I want to foul up the, the bin here and what they've got going. So I don't really see any food, but I do see, you know, some tomato peels. So I think two weeks, two weeks you don't get a worm ball. That's okay. They are hardworking worms. But they have already, after, I don't know, about a month, I'll have to go back and look in, on the dates and see how long these guys have been in here by themselves. But they've already started to make a good amount of castings. And they're already, you know, doing a good job of breeding. I can see the, the cocoons in here. But yeah, so I think these guys are doing good. And as you can tell, I go heavy on the bedding, even in a new bin. 
I don't know, I think it helps the moisture not get out of control. But let's, uh, let's get them something to eat. This has got to last them 14 days. A little bit of coconut coir to suck it up if it's too, too wet. But that should do them pretty good. Um, the basement is not cooling down quite as fast um, as I thought it was going to. It is currently 71.7 in here and 59% uh, percent humidity. And honestly, it's probably 50 degrees outside. And for everybody in the Celsius world, that's 22.1. Alrighty. Well, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. It's down there. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.